Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are delighted to present the latest development in Way in Motion, Kistler's most advanced solution, Key Traffic Digital. My name is Ingrid Sagatz and I am the responsible product manager for Key Traffic Digital at Kistler. Today, joining me on stage is an expert in the Way Motion industry, my colleague Christoph. Christoph, Please introduce yourself to the audience. Hello, everyone. My name is Christoph Klauser, and I'm the business developer for Traffic Solutions at Kistler. Thank you, Christoph. I'm really glad we are able to host this webinar together today. To begin, I would like to share some organizational information. Please keep in mind that our recording of this webinar will be made available to you afterwards. All participants should now be muted so please leave your microphones and your cameras turned off to ensure that we have no interruptions. And if you would like to communicate with us, feel free to drop questions and comments in the chat section at any time. Ingrid and I will do our best to respond to all of them. In case we don't manage to respond to all your questions in the chat, we will contact you personally via email with a response after the webinar. So, Feel free to ask your questions and share your thoughts in the chat. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Definitely, I'm also looking forward to your questions. And I would like to now share the agenda with you. Just a quick summary and overview over what we're covering in today's webinar. We're going to cover the motivation for Way in Motion, what applications are out there for WIM, which WIM technologies exist, which one is maybe the best, um, what is Kistler's experience in this field, and of course, we are going to talk everything about the Linea's digital sensors and the unique key traffic digital way motion system. So it's going to be very interesting until the end. So please stay online with us. And yeah, let's kick off this webinar and start with the first topic. As we announced, key traffic digital is the most advanced way in motion system to date. But what is actually the motivation for installing a Way Motion system? Well, there are actually many. I would say safety on public roads is one of the main reasons. Ensuring the safety of road users by preventing accidents caused by overweight vehicles is a primary concern for many governments and transportation authorities. Overloaded trucks are harder to control and to stop especially in emergency situations. In addition to the increased braking distance, such trucks can experience brake failures or tire blowouts, and this increases the risk of accidents, endangering both the truck drivers and the road users. By detecting overweight vehicles in real time, way in motion systems help to prevent accidents, aligning with global initiatives for safer roadways. That's right, Ingrid. And excessive weight is not only dangerous, but it also increases the wear and tear on our roads infrastructure, such as pavement and bridges, leading to potential structural failures and reduced lifetime. This not only creates hazards, but also puts stress on maintenance budgets and resources. WIM data enables a more sustainable infrastructure management by allowing more precise calculations of remaining lifespans based on traffic load data collected and can therefore reduce the frequency of repairs and civil works on public roads. In a nutshell, WIM systems contribute significantly to cost savings for road authorities and taxpayers. The system also helps to manage vehicle weights, reducing fuel consumption and emissions, promoting more efficient transport and making a positive contribution to sustainability. Advanced sensor technologies and data analytic tools make way in motion systems integral to the digital transform transformation of transportation infrastructure. In alignment with the digitalization megatrend, data-driven decision-making is greatly enhanced. Transportation agencies and planners can use data from these systems to make informed decisions about infrastructure investments and upgrades. This is helpful for pavement design, to determine the depth of the pavement section, pavement maintenance, 
improvements to road networks to determine the cost of con congestion, fair cost allocation to different road users and much more. I totally agree, Christoph. And at last but not least, more and more digital twins of roads and bridges are being created for better management during their lifespan. WIMP systems can contribute valuable information about current traffic loads during the whole lifespan into these digital twins for the efficient infrastructure management. And Christoph, I think we now explained the importance of the WIMP systems, but what can you tell us of the specific applications that can be covered with such a WIM system? Well, there are two main applications for way in motion. First is weight enforcement and second is traffic data collection. So first let's look into the weight enforcement part. In most countries, authorities use WIM system for a pre-screening of all trucks that approach a control area. Based on the data provided by the WIM system, such as gross weight and axle loads, but sometimes also even tire status, officers can make qualified decisions on which trucks to inspect in more detail. The contribution of WIM systems to efficient and effective weight controls is therefore clear. Only trucks with potential violations are stopped and dr drivers of compliant trucks continue their journey without interruption. More and more countries are looking into direct weight enforcement today. This involves using the weight data provided by the WIM system to automatically issue tickets to weight violators. Here's the great example of the effectiveness of direct weight enforcement from New York City, where data shows that the number of overweighted trucks declined by 55% after the Department of Transportation began issuing warnings to overweight vehicles. This impressively demonstrates the advantages of direct weight enforcement. All passing vehicles are checked and potentially stopped. And this leads to the significantly higher probability that violators will be detected and with a significant reduction of overloaded vehicles on the road network. And this is exactly what road operators need to protect their infrastructure and to extend the lifetime of their, for example, bridges. However, legislation on homologation and certification of WIM sites by the corresponding national meteorological authorities must be in place for this application. As WIM vendor, we would like to emphasize that we are ready to contribute to this approach and, and can provide required support on your journey towards the direct weight enforcement. Certainly, Christoph. With the new key traffic digital, we are prepared for direct weight enforcement wherever the legislation allows it. Let's look now at the second application you mentioned, traffic data collection. Well, traffic engineers are typically interested in four parameters. First, there's traffic volume, so the number of vehicles sorted by the vehicle class. Then there's the speed of the vehicles. There is the occupancy, so the percentage of vehicles covering a defined section of a lane, and for the weight data. Generally spoken, there are lots of data collection sites with two induction loops spread over network, road networks. These sites acquire the volume, the speed, and the occupancy data, but they are missing the weight data. WIM systems allow the completion of the required data set for traffic engineers. Looking at the fourth power law, which was published by Ashto many years ago, we can see the relevance of weight data. The fourth power law states that the weight of the vehicles contributes by the power of four to the damage of the pavement. To make this more tangible, imagine that the damage caused by one exemplified truck with 30 tons corresponds to the damage caused by approximately 7,500 cars. This illustrates that it is not enough to only count and classify the vehicles, but knowing the weight data is essential. Only this complete data set, including the weight data, will allow engineers to calculate accurately, for example, the remaining lifetime of bridges and pavement. Especially with calculative deficient bridges, 
actual WIM data helps to reduce the safety margins included in standard load models and therefore get a more realistic estimate of the remaining lifetime. Besides these two main applications, weight motion systems can also be used for research purposes, for weight-based tolling, at port entrances gates or at industrial facilities to efficiently acquire the weight of passing vehicles without interrupting traffic. Ingrid, you did uh, some research on the available WIM technologies and discovered the advantages of piezoelectric quartz technology. What is the right choice in your opinion? Well, for dynamic force measurements, that is, when the forces to be measured change very quickly, quartz piezoelectric technology has unrivaled advantages. It boasts high sensitivity and fast response. Wayne motion applications are a very good example of this. Vehicles passing over the sensors at speeds of 100 km per hour or even more generate very fast force impacts. And the sensor can be exposed to loads adding up to several tons within a matter of just milliseconds. Quartz piezoelectric sensors are less complex in design. They are smaller and more compact than other technologies. So they can be very easily installed in shallow depths in the road pavement with minimal disruption to traffic flow. Another advantage is the wide measuring range or rather consistent sensitivity so that trucks, cars and even bikes can pass the rim side and will have their weighing weight measured with uh, recorded with equal accuracy. And let's not forget, the piezo quartz technology is very stable at high temperatures compared to other rim technologies. This means customers do not have to compensate for temperature when using WIM data. Kistel has extensive experience in piezoelectric quartz technology. Over 80,000 linear sensors have been deployed in more than 50 countries to date. How did this come about? Well, the first experiments with, uh, to demonstrate that the application of force released to a charge from a quartz were carried out by Pierre and Jacques Curie in 1880. In the 1950s, our founder Walter P. Kistler invented the first amplifier that made it possible to use the piezo effect for measurement purposes. This patented amplifier marks the beginning of our company Kistler and nowadays Kistler even operates its own facilities to grow crystals according to a proprietary formula. And Kistler has a comprehensive portfolio in way in motion with the kit traffic systems and Linea's sensors. In the lower accuracy range, we offer the key traffic statistics and the key traffic basic systems. And this year, Kistler is bringing its latest development, key traffic digital, to the global market, which is the most advanced WIM system to date, utilizing the revolutionary Linea's digital sensors. This is the highlight you probably were curious about and the reason why you signed to our webinar today. So, Christoph, let's now move to the Linea's Digital. How are these products even manufactured? As a leading provider of quartz piezoelectric measurement technology, we are in full control of the entire manufacturing process at our Swiss headquarters. Cutting-edge production equipment operated by skilled specialists ensure best quality. Kistler quartz WIM sensors were invented by Kistler in the late 1990s. We have 30 plus years of experience in unique quartz WIM technology, developing piezoelectric sensors and charge amplifiers, plus we have all the tools and machines at hand to produce them. Each sensor must pass rigorous testing before release. All sensing elements inside the sensor are checked. Quality is key. Every component undergoes strict quality control processes. This explains why the Linea sensors have regularly set global benchmarks for accuracy, reliability, quality and ease of use. I hope this all made you curious because right now we want to dive deeper into the heart of the key traffic digital platform. 
the Linear's Digital Sensors. Christoph, what is so special about the Linear's Digital Sensors? The Linear's Digital Sensors are unique because they are the world's first fully digitized quartz piezoelectric sensors. They provide the force information via a digital interface instead of standard analog charge signals. In short, the charge amplifiers are embedded within the sensor. Linear's Digital is the first sensor to deploy a digital platform into the sensor unit. This provides onboard intelligence to the sensor. So Linear's Digital acts as a platform for the integration of additional sensing elements. With over 60 of these sensing elements in each Linear's Digital sensor, it generates more data than any other WIM sensor in the market and delivers additional valuable information, for example, on its own health status. A wonderful functionality of Linear's Digital is that the signals can be acquired and compensated separately for each quartz position. Here is a live demo where you clearly see this functionality. The sensor always gives the same response, independent of where you press it. Digitization of the quartz signals is a key element that raises sensor's accuracy to a new level. The sensor is calibrated on its own, on its whole sensing area. Sensitivity deviations over the sensor length are compensated using compensation factors which are stored directly in the sensor. Linear's digitally, Digital can identify the position of a wheel passing over it. This way, the sensor can not only compensate for its own sensitivity deviations, but also for the road's structural differences. What are the options and requirements to install Linear's Digital? Linear's Digital have a modular design. There are lengths of 1.5 meters, 1.75 meters and 2 meters available to cover all lane widths. We recommend good road conditions and a straight road section without curves to ensure that the vehicles passing the WIM site pass at it with constant speed in the center of the lane. In addition, a flat surface, no rutting or cracks in the pavement ensure long sensor lifetime and accurate weighing results. Linear's Digital are very flexible. They can be installed in asphalt and concrete roads and no special road preparation or repavement is needed. In fact, the installation process for Linear's Digital is the same as with the existing analog linear sensors. Proven and easy, without the need for heavy tools. Key Traffic Digital has been designed for cost-efficient installations as it is only minimal invasive and requires a small slot in the pavement. Linear's Digital is installed in the same two top layers of asphalt like other linear sensors. The sensors are fully embedded in the ground with no screws and frames. We even provide specific installation toolkit for Linear's Digital to allow sensor checks on site and trouble-free installation. I'm sure everyone is interested in knowing more about the lifetime of the sensor. Kistler quartz piezoelectric sensors have a proven standard lifespan of more than five years, but lifetimes of 10 or more years are not unusual. We can say that the linear sensor's lifetime is mainly influenced by the road in which they are installed. In laboratory testing, Linear's Digital successfully passed life cycle testing. Over 20 million vehicle crossings under extreme environmental conditions. The expected lifetime is, I would say, the same as the roads. So it's usually the road pavement that reaches end of life and needs to be repaved. The first Linear's Digital sensors were installed in 2018. They have been in the road for over six years without a single failure or need of replacement, proving their reliability in real life conditions. Now we heard a lot about the Linear's Digital Sensor, but it is actually not sold as standalone. It is part of a full measuring chain. Christoph, can you maybe give us more insights into the system architecture? The Key Traffic Digital System is a full measuring chain, consisting of Linear's Digital Sensors, 
combined with electronics of highest industrial grade, which are configured by Kistler to achieve the best performance. It includes an industrial PC to aggregate, process and store the data of all connected Linear's digital WIM sensors. Exactly, Christoph. I know that at the end of the Linear's digital sensor there is an Ethernet cable. So power over Ethernet ensures efficient sensor power supply and data transmission to the industrial PC you mentioned. That is indeed very practical since only one cable goes from the sensor to the cabinet. With its integrated electronics, the Linea's digital sensor can pre-process and analyze the signals directly, and the industrial PC processes these datasets of all connected Linea's digital sensors to the known WIM data per vehicle. A proprietary WIM controller is no longer required for the setup of the system. Correct. The industrial PC also holds the user interface of Key Traffic Digital. With software developed by Kistler, highly advanced algorithms perform to deliver most accurate vehicle data records. Also, an industrial switch provides power to the, ether, uh, to the Linear's digital sensors via power over Ethernet. This device is crucial to ensure accurate synchronization between the sensors of one side and a router which manages the communication between the key traffic digital WIM system and the higher level customer network, in which the WIM system is integrated. All communication with the WIM system, no matter whether the WIM data is streamed or pulled or displayed on the graphical user interface, is managed via one IP address assigned to the WIM system. So besides the Linear's digital sensors, these three components the industrial PC, the Power E switch, and router are integral parts of the key traffic digital system. Regarding the delivery scope, all the required components can be delivered in a pre mounted and pre wired back panel for easy installation into a cabinet. For smaller sites with fewer sensors, the required components can even be mounted on a DIN rail, which is even easier to install. And of course, we can provide you with single components for customer-specific integration into cabinets. The measuring chain sounds very reliable, but what kind of data does it deliver? With Key Traffic Digital, you can get very detailed vehicle data records. They include the passing time, the lane, the driving direction, the gross vehicle weight, the vehicle speed, axle loads, axle distances, the vehicle length and vehicle class, also the weight distribution signalizing the balance of the vehicle from left to right, and of course also tire information. Key Traffic Digital detects wheel type, single, dual or wide base tires, and even flat tires, but more on that we will tell you later. The data is very easy to access. We offer an advanced and user-friendly web-based graphical user interface with easy step-by-step -step workflows, for example, for the commissioning and calibration process on site. In this intuitive UI, the vehicle data records are visualized. Furthermore, the GUI provides a system and a sensor health status overview. Let's now talk about the interfaces how can our customers integrate the WIM data of Key Traffic Digital? Via machine readable interfaces, the dataset of each vehicle can be easily retrieved and integrated into a higher level system or into customers' networks. The vehicle data record is provided in JSON format, either via push communication, meaning an Ethernet data stream, via webhooks actively pushing individual data records as soon as they are calculated and completed, or via pull communication, meaning a secured REST API allows pulling of data upon request. Up until now, we only talked about pure WIM data, but what about the integration of additional data from third-party devices, for example, ANPR cameras? The Key Traffic Digital measuring chain allows all necessary interfaces to be synchronized with third-party systems and to be integrated into higher-level systems. 
system integrators can easily match the WIM data with third-party data, for example from devices such as cameras or vehicle dimension scanners. This ensures the delivery of a full solution to the end customer. And please also note that Kistler offers the Key Traffic Plus solution. Key Traffic Plus comprises software to match WIM data from any Kistler WIM system, such as Key Traffic Digital, with third party data. It also provides a modern graphical user interface for end users, such as the enforcement officers. That sounds amazing. And to fulfill the steady increasing demand of road owners for additions, Key Traffic Digital harnessed the power of digitalization to provide access to innovative features. So, which features of does Key Traffic Digital offer? One of the unique features of Key Traffic Digital is the automated tire screening. Key Traffic Digital enables tire screening with no need for additional software and no need to install tilted sensors or even additional sensors in the road. This reduces the installation costs and allows for quicker installation times. Key Traffic Digital delivers tire type information, so it detects dual or single tires, and it can even detect flat tires. So, in Key Traffic Digital, the most advanced tire screening is already built in. Yes, and flat tires are certainly a danger to our road safety. Not only exploding tires, but all the debris of defective tires on the road are a root cause for accidents. So, there's really a huge interest from authorities to identify trucks with flat tires. What else makes Key Traffic Digital such a unique WIM system? I would say a unique functionality is the interlane driving capability. That means that Key Traffic Digital can deliver very accurate measurements even if vehicles try to avoid passing a WIM site by switching lanes or driving in between lanes at high speeds. Reliable measurements with such driving maneuvers are impossible with the existing analog techniques. And looking into enforcement applications, you can assume that drug drivers will try to avoid being measured by a WIM system. The new interlane capability will make it more difficult to avoid the WIM measurement and therefore provide more valid vehicle data records to the officers. This is certainly a USP for Key Traffic Digital. Another major benefit of Key Traffic Digital system is the central health monitoring capability. Isn't it, Ingrid? Exactly. Key Traffic Digital also has the ability to monitor its own health status, including the system status and the one of Linea's digital sensors. This continuous health status monitoring ensures users that the system is consistently operational. In the unlikely case of issues, it reduces the downtime thanks to remote error analysis and potential remote measures to solve the issue. And of course, early detection of and the solution of issues minimizes disruptions of the operation and therefore minimizes potential data loss. But Christoph, I think the most important thing we haven't mentioned yet, and it's actually the biggest benefit of Key Traffic Digital. Let's now talk about the accuracy. Yes, that's the greatest advantage of Key Traffic Digital. The accuracy level is unprecedented. We can clearly state that Key Traffic Digital is the most accurate WIM system on the market. The OML R134 certification for accuracy class F5 was granted by the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, METAS. This certificate makes national type approvals and local homologizations in member states of the OML organization all over the world easier. It is proof of the astonishing performance of Key Traffic Digital in measuring vehicle gross weight and axle loads. This is an important milestone to meet the requirements of national meteorological authorities for homologization of WIM systems. The accuracy class enables the identification of vehicles overloaded more accurately than ever before. 
What is unique is also the speed range of the accuracy class, because Key Traffic Digital is the only WIM system in the market to achieve class F5 from low to high speeds, up to 100 km per hour for trucks and even 130 km per hour for vans. But Christoph, what does this certificate state about the maximum permissible error? Well, first we need to understand the concept of uh, this maximum permissible error. It states that 100% of the measurements must be within the specified limits. No outliers are allowed and no statistical evaluation indicating a confidence level is allowed to. Secondly, we need to understand the concept of the uh, initial verification and the in-service operation at OIML R134. This standard requires the WIM system to meet the weighing accuracy with 50% less tolerance during the initial verification compared to the in-service operation. With three sensor rows, Key Traffic Digital achieves an accuracy of plus minus 2.5% of gross vehicle weight for 100% of the measurements during the initial verification. That's why it was certified for the operation in the gross vehicle accuracy range or class plus minus 5%. Was this accuracy only achieved during the certification or do we have the real data on the accuracy of the WIM site that is in operation? In fact, various verifications through measurement campaigns in real traffic with different vehicles have confirmed that Key Traffic Digital maintains this perfect accuracy at the certification level even after more than two years of the calibration. The Swiss Metas did even a blind test six months after the initial verification to reconfirm their measurement results. And the system reliably and correctly measured all runs within the certified tolerance. Our internal tests have also shown that Key Traffic Digital can achieve even better accuracy in ideal road conditions, up to plus minus 2% for the gross vehicle weight. Of course, at this point, it is important to keep in mind that the accuracy not only depends on the sensors and algorithms, but parameters such as the road quality also play a key role for the resulting accuracy of a WIM site. But Christoph, why is it so interesting, this accuracy, or why is it so crucial? Well, Key Traffic Digital opens the door to fully automated weight checks and direct penalties for violations. National meteorological authorities require high accuracy levels in this application to avoid an incorrect penalizations of violators. And for this reason, the measured value by the WIM system will be always reduced by the certified tolerance of the WIM system to be sure that the potential violator exceeds the weight limits really. And some meteorological authorities cannot accept the application of a certified tolerance of 10% as for example with the OML class F10, or more on the gross vehicle weight. But weighing accuracy is only one aspect of direct weight enforcement. The strict requirements of not issuing fines to wrongly measured vehicles is another crucial aspect. We also put a lot of efforts in our so-called validity feature. This helps to detect anomalies during the measurement process and reliably detects measurements which might exceed the specified tolerances. The combination of both aspects, accuracy, measurement and no false positive violations is crucial in direct weight enforcement. But let's focus now on the OML certificate again. How many sensors are needed to achieve the accuracy classes? Well, the layout options are flexibly scaled and matched to accuracy requirements. Two sensor rows, meaning four sensors per lane, is the minimum amount. With this layout, you can achieve accuracy class F10, so plus minus 10% of gross vehicle weight in operation. Three and four rows of sensors are recommended for applications that demand high accuracy levels and achieve high, high class F5, so meaning plus minus 5% of the gross vehicle weight 
in operation. So it's actually possible to initially install two sensor rows for statistical or pre-selection purposes and upgrade to direct enforcement with one or two additional sensor rows later. So I would say this all sounds really amazing in theory, but what about the real life applications? Has key traffic digital already been installed on roads and highways? We started in 2018 with the first pilot installations and customer sites have been continuously in operations since 2020. There are results from more than six years of experience in roads with these sensors. Transportation authorities and road owners all over the world have already experienced uh, the benefits of Key Traffic Digital. We already installed Key Traffic Digital systems in countries in on four continents, including Switzerland, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, Germany, Norway, but also the US, Australia and Brazil. That's very impressive. And as of today, already more than 150 Linear Digital sensors have been installed worldwide. These sensors are now working around the clock and reliably collecting traffic load data for safer and more sustainable roads for everyone. Key Traffic Digital is certainly unleashing the potential of digitalization. Christoph, can you maybe give us more insights on other projects we have deployed across the globe with Key Traffic Digital? Sure, let's take a short tour around the globe, starting at the other end of it. We just deployed a key traffic digital system on a ramp to a way station in Australia. This site is, using, is used for pre-selection of trucks and for more detailed inspections at the control area. Switching to the Americas, we also equipped multiple lanes in different states of the United States with key traffic digital for pre-selection on ramps to way stations. With a special emphasis here on the focus on also detecting flat tires. And coming back to Europe, even here in Switzerland, Key Traffic Digital has been in operation for a few years with the local police for the pre-selection of trucks in front of control areas. In Eastern European countries, multiple lanes on highways have been equipped to, with rim sensors to be tested to, or to test the system for direct weight enforcement. And in Scandinavia, a road authority operates a pilot site for traffic data collection purpose. And in Southern Europe, another country is testing key traffic digital for direct weight enforcement. And last year, the Institute of Highway Engineering at Germany's RWTH Aachen University chose Istler's key traffic digital for their pioneering digital twin road research project. And Christoph, you were actually on site during the installation. Tell us more about the project. Sure. So um, this German Institute of Highway Engineering opted for Kistler's Key Traffic Digital in a current research project called Digital Twin Road. In 2023, 10 linear digital sensors were installed in the busy A1, A61 highway with no need for special uh, repavement on the road or other preparations. The sensors measure vehicle loads and wheel trajectories. This data is a central part of the digital twin of the road, which researchers will create in their project. The, the acquired data will be used in the digital twin to optimize the forecast of the road conditions. Yeah, and a special sensor layout was actually designed exclusively for this project, highlighting Kistler's commitment to tailoring our WIM systems to individual customer needs. And I brought a statement from our customer that he shared with us and I would like to also share with you at this point. Here's what he said. Our digital twin road project focuses on the road of the future. So reliable load data is crucial to the success of our research. We needed a professional partner by our side. Kistler offered the idea solution with its key traffic digital system and the linear digital sensors which can deliver data as the basis for us to build our algorithms. Kistler fulfilled all of our special requirements regarding the sensor layout and the data access, and they gave us expert advisory support backed by their extensive know-how. 
our system is currently collecting its first data and I'm looking forward to evaluating it. So, wow, there it is, the statement from our customer and it's really impressive. We are really glad for this cooperation. And with that statement from customer side, we're actually approaching the end of this webinar session. But before we go, I think it's very important to give our audience a glimpse on the services that Kistler offers. Christoph, can you maybe give us more insights into the services? Fulfilling customer requirements is very important to us. We ensure the greatest possible accuracy and reliability over the entire service life by providing a complete service package. We offer our customer support in all project phases. Consultancy at the beginning, project management, training and installation, calibration and commissioning, and maintenance services either from Kistler or with support from local partners. So let's look into the four important services. First of all, structural load analysis. This service helps to get an assistance to determine the best location for a WIM system on a given road. We estimate for the achievable accuracy and system performance prior to the installation. And we get an idea about the extended lifetime of the WIM sensors in the um, road with good conditions. Training and installation, or training the installation is the second important topic for us. Our experienced service engineers come on site and train and certify your staff to execute a high quality installation, the basis for a long sensor lifetime in the pavement. And calibration is another important step where we offer our support and help. Calibrate and optimize the WIM system to achieve the required accuracy and make sure that you meet the requirements of your end customer to enable, for example, a homologation and the certification of a WIM site. And last but not least, Kistler offers also warranty extensions. We offer to extend the warranty period for up to five years um, with therefore limiting your commercial risks in a WIM project. Thank you, Christoph. We really covered a lot of topics today and I want to do a quick summary of today's webinar. What are the key takeaways for you to take? Well, Key Traffic Digital is the world's most accurate WIM system that delivers the highest number of enforceable overloaded vehicles. Key Traffic Digital has the unique OML certification for Class 5 up to high speeds which facilitates national type approvals. Key Traffic Digital offers the automated tire screening functionality with flat tire detection. And, of course, also the interlane driving functionality. In short, Key Traffic Digital is a platform which enables advanced features such as smart road calibration and system status monitoring. The Linea's digital sensor generates more data than any other WIM sensor in the market. We have the highest quality and an easy installation, and we offer versatile customer interfaces, allowing integration into higher level systems. I hope that in this way you got a good overview of Key Traffic Digital and how it can help you to be successful in your projects. We are really looking forward to hearing from you Maybe we can already partner up with you for your upbringing projects using the key traffic digital systems in roads and highways in your country. If you have not already done so, please make use of the chat function in this webinar now and reach out to us with your feedback or your questions. And of course, Christoph and I will be very happy to hear from you in the future and to have deeper discussions about key traffic digital. We have added our email addresses for you to keep in touch with us. And with this said, I would like to thank you all for attending and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.